Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be discussing a truly shocking tale from the annals of medical history. That is the story of Eben Byers, also known as the man who drank radium. But before we dive into the chilling details, let's shed some light on the science behind radium and its dual nature in both medicine and tragedy. Radium, discovered by Pierre and Mary Curie in 1898, fascinated scientists and public alike by its luminescent properties and purported health benefits. Its ability to emit alpha, beta and gamma radiation made it a sought-after element in both medical application and the industrial fields. For example, in the medical field, radiation therapy helped to revolutionise cancer treatments, giving hope to countless patients by targeting and destroying cancerous cells. And whether it's been used to diagnose illnesses with radiography or used to sterilise medical equipment, radiation has played a pivotal role in modern healthcare. However, the darker side of radium emerged when it found its way into consumer goods where it was advertised as a cure-all elixir for vitality and youth. And one such product was Radithor, a radium-infused tonic that was sold as a cure-all for various different ailments. Enter Eben Byers, a wealthy industrialist who fell victim to the allure of Radithor in the 1920s. Eben was born on the 12th of October 1880 to a particularly wealthy family, and after graduating from Yale University, he went on to become the vice president of his father's steel mill. However, Eben was also a very keen sportsman, particularly talented at both golf and polo. However, in 1927, after an unfortunate accident where he fell on a train and injured his arm, Eben was no longer able to participate in athletic events. This was until his doctor prescribed him a drink called Radithor, telling him that it would help to ease his pain. Mr. Byers quickly hooked onto this drink, consuming several bottles a day. In fact, it stated he was so enthusiastic about it that he often gifted bottles of it to his friends. And believing that it would enhance his general vigour and overall well-being, Mr. Byers consumed copious amounts of this tonic over several years. According to research, each bottle of Radithor contains one microgram of radium and one microgram of isothorium distilled in water. Now, with our modern day understanding of radiation toxicity, we know that radium can exert its toxic effects on the body in doses as low as 10 micrograms. And considering that Mr. Byers was consuming one bottle of Radithor per meal, it's no wonder he ended up meeting his demise. Tragically, Byers' faith in Radithor led to his undoing. The radium accumulated in his bones, emitting radiation which caused havoc around his body. He suffered excruciating pain, bone necrosis and severe anemia before succumbing to his injuries. You see, the danger with radium is that it has the unique ability to mimic calcium in your body. It gets incorporated into bone tissue where it continues to emit radiation, which effectively causes irreversible damage to your bones and the surrounding structures. The Wall Street Journal commemorated Mr. Byers' death with the following headline. The radium water worked fine until his jaw dropped off. And so this story went on to become one of the most read in decades, going on to be published in several other research outlets. And so really, this story should serve as a stark reminder of the dangers of unchecked scientific enthusiasm and the need and importance of rigorous testing and regulation. Clearly, radium held promise as a tool for progress, but due to its misuse, this led to untold suffering and loss. From glow-in-the-dark watch dials to luminescent paints, radium's ubiquity in everyday products led to numerous cases of radiation poisoning and in some cases even the death of unsuspecting consumers and workers. Let's take a look at another case study. That is the tragic saga of the Radium Girls. 
Brace yourselves as we unravel the horrifying reality of their story. The story begins in the early 20th century, where young women, known as the Radium Girls, were employed in factories to paint watch dials with radium-infused paint. But little did they know that this seemingly harmless job would lead to unimaginable suffering. Radium, as we've already mentioned, is a radioactive element that's able to emit powerful radiation that's able to penetrate through the human body, wrecking havoc on your tissues and organs. The Radium Girls were unaware of this danger, ingesting the toxic substance when they licked the tips of their paintbrushes to achieve finer points. And over time, as they continued with their work, they began to develop really alarming symptoms of severe pain, necrosis of the jaw, and unexplained fractures. Their bodies were literally disintegrating from within due to the relentless onslaught of this radiation exposure. There are even some reported cases where some women lost their whole mouth's worth of teeth in just under two weeks. Just imagine watching your own bones glow in the dark, a grotesque testament to the effects of radiation poisoning. Overall, the Radium Girls endured unimaginable agony as their health deteriorated, all while their employers turned a blind eye to their suffering. However, fueled by their determination for justice, the Radium Girls fought back at the companies who carelessly endangered their lives. Their courage and resilience paved the way for significant changes in workplace practices and increased the awareness of the dangers of radiation. I guess from my perspective, the legacy of the Radium Girls serves as a stark reminder of the human cost of corporate negligence and greed. Really, their sacrifice led to a crucial advancement in worker protection and public health awareness, but the scars of their ordeal continue to haunt us till this day. Okay guys, thank you for joining me today as we've uncovered the horrifying effect of radium on the body. If you like this video and want to see more, why not consider subscribing to the channel and leave me a suggestion down below if there's any other cases of horrifying medicine that you'd like me to cover. And if you're free just now, why not check out this video where I break down the three horrifying stages of syphilis. Otherwise, until next time, stay healthy, keep smiling, and I'll see you then. Thanks.